ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில்ஸ் லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் ஆர் வீடியோஸ் வி வர் சீங் அபவுட் நியோலோட் ஜேமீட்டர் லோட் ரன்னர் அண்ட் அதர் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் ரிலேட்டட் டாபிக்ஸ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் எட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப்ட் டு அவர் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் டு லைக் கமெண்ட் டூ கொஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபீட்பேக்ஸ் இன் த செக்ஷன் so in this video we are going to see about how to create a file using javascript in, J- in the new load and how to write the extracted variable or the extracted value into a file so again uh, i would like to thank my subscriber for asking this question so thank you so much for asking this question so let's see how to do that in this video so i'm separating this video into two parts so the first part is going to be i'm going to create a file and i will show you how to create a file and to write some static content in it and then in the next part of the video i will show you how to create a file and how to get the value from the variable manager or from the correlation value and then how to write that in the file so let's start with the part 1 So in the part 1 we will see how to create a file using javascript for that i'm adding a javascript file so i'm right clicking on a http request and right clicking on right clicking on it and then i'm selecting insert after so in case if you want to select insert as child you might not see the actions in here but in case if you want to select go back go to insert after and then come back to javascript script so i'm choosing a javascript here and you will have a default template so i'm removing it and to create a file first we must declare the file as variable so variable file is equal to new java.io.file and then i'm going to give the location and for that i have a folder under c drive so let me show you so i'm just choosing the file so i'm just choosing the folder which i'm going to where i'm going to create and then i'm giving a double quote and i'm entering the location and then the file so the file is going to be example.txt so here the slash the forward slash is taken as an escape character so what we have to do is we have to give another slash another forward slash or another backward slash so this will be considered as a slash in the script so which is will be taken to be the to the right location and then let's come to the second line where we are going to give where writer is equal to new java.io dot file writer of file so we are going to write the file which, which we have created in the first line and then in the third line we are going to write the value which is going to be so we will have to enter anything any string under within double quotes so we'll write welcome to littles la youtube channel and let's close with a semicolon and then come back and we'll have to close the file before we exit the script so we are closing it and then let's do a debug so we can see this in the message part we can see this in the while we validate in the checking session section so the file example.txt is created so if it is created we automatically get it get this message so let's apply this and let's now run the script and see how does it work so here we can see there is no files that's got created so let's go back to the script and let's run it and let's run the script and see how does it work so the execution has got completed and in the script we can see the file example.txt created and let's go to the folder so here we can see we have got the example.txt file and let's open the file and see so here we can see welcome to little slow youtube channel so this is very simple so in case if we want to validate or if we want to just 
check whether we are able to create a file we can just try this first few lines in the script before we go with the entire set of scripts so let's just start with these few lines and then once it is ready and then we can start to implement the complex logics into the script so this is how i normally or any developer would normally try to implement the code or try to build on this code so the next thing is going to be we are going to write the file so what we will do now is we'll just create the same thing so we we'll have the same file the example.txt and then coming back to the var writer so what we are going to do is we are going to set a new parameter to the file so we'll add true so the reason to add this is to set the second parameter to true to append to the file so we all know why what is appending so in case if we already have some values so the next value will be added at the end of the script so that is the appending so in case if you do not want we can remove this so the we will we'll just try this in the script so let us now so we will comment this line since we do not want this to be happen so what we are going to do now is we will create another value so this value where we are going to get the correlated value and I'll show you so here in the previous request under advanced we have the J session ID which is correlated and it is ready so it is extracted from the previous response so let's go back to the script so what we're going to do now is context dot variable manager make it capsule make M in uppercase dot get value again v in uppercase and then we will give the value which is j session id then let's close it so we are getting the j session id value from the correlation from the previous response from the correlation and then we have this writer so we will write this value inside the file so we are going to write writer dot write of value one so value one here we see the value so we'll we are going to write the value one here plus a space so let's just give a space to see how does it work so i'm just giving a space and then also if we do not want a space what we can do is we can give a slash n which is an escape character which i have already told you during the first uh, part of the script so the slash n will have, will work as an escape character so which means any character that comes to comes to it will be stored or will go to the next line so what we're going what we are doing writing here is we are writing the j session id and adding a new line to the script and then we have this writer dot close so i'm not making any changes to it so this is to close the connection before before we stop or terminate the script and then finally we have this logger.debug so we will change this to printing the values so what we are going to print is we are going to print the values and see how does it work so the values so we will have to add plus symbol so this will concatenate the value so value 1 have been written to the example file got it so okay so now what we did is we are using the same file and we are adding the append as part of this line and then in this line 7 we are getting this j session id value from the correlation and in line 8 we are writing the j session id and adding a new line to the script and in line 9 we are closing the connection before we stop or terminate the script and then finally in line 12 we are writing a debug statement so that we can see that during the checking let's apply and let's do a check So here I can see the value that is generated, but then 
when I found so here instead of writer dot write I have enter writer dot writer so I'm removing it and so these kind of minor mistakes will not be identified or will not be found when you click apply so these things we might see only when we run the test so running I'm again running the test so now the script has passed so which I believe the file have been returned to the example file so let's go to the file and let's open it and here we can see so since we did not add any new line before the value we add so here we can see at the end of the script we have got a new line so here we, we can see that this is a new file appended so what we will do now is I will make a small change so I'm just removing this true and we will see what happens if we do not have so I'm removing the append option but still we have this values in the file so let me apply and let's run the script again So this time again there are no mistakes and we can see that the file has been returned to the example file so let's again go back to the example.txt and here we can see so the values which was previously in the file have been deleted so we might have a doubt whether this gets deleted every time no so every time this action says for example if i'm running a five iteration test and what happens is during this five iterations all so this is something like when the file gets opened all the files all the sorry all the values will get pasted or all the values previously which are in the file will be removed and every new value will will get added to the file so that's how this append removal work so in case if we do have append so even the previous executions would have been saved so here we can see different values were getting generated in its iteration so we are in the third or fourth, fourth iteration so once at the end of this all five iterations we can see that these values would have been I mean all these five values would have been added in the script and any values which are previously or any values which were there in this same file before the execution will be removed so the, the file the validation has been successfully completed and let's open the file now and see okay so this means that only the last value will be stored so what we will do now is we will again go back and add the true so by adding true we are appending the values and let's now run the test again so these are very minor things which we might miss so that's the reason I'm trying all these options with you to see how does this works with all the options like appending removing and everything so that you might not face these issues when you are creating and you can complete these activities real quick so we are running the iterations for the second third time so let's see how does it go so here we can here we can see different values are getting generated in each of its session so the test is completed and let's go back to the example file and here yeah so we have successfully generated five values after the test so this appending will add the values and if we remove it only the last value will be in the text file so with this we come to an end and i believe this video has been very useful to you so until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from asan shanmugam and little slaw